that in with a lot of coaches. And when they talk about things they want to accomplish offensively, I'm not sure that sack and sack are on their play sheet. Tough spot for the Pats now after the sack as Brady will lead him up third and long. Brady now to throw. Oh, had his hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden a secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. And he's able to get it out of there. And this will be down by a member of the kicking team just outside of the 30-yard line. And out now comes Jacksonville as they get ready to go. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And, of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know what, a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. And he stopped immediately there. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. So they're still at the original line of scrimmage here. Second down and 10. Play action. Now it's Bortles. And off his back foot, he'll heave this. One. And that's caught inside the 30. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. So another score there. And often you talk about the three phases of the game. Defense, offense, special teams. It's been a clean sweep in this one, hasn't it? It certainly has. They've been pretty dominant throughout this game. And privately, the head coach will add a fourth phase. That's the coaching. And he'll tell the ownership that as he tries to negotiate a new contract off of this win. So they are looking strong here in the fourth quarter. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. Here's Lambeau out to kick this one away. Short boot, take it at the 21. And he'll take this across the 25. A couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone you know not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try and figure out what is working, and call more of that. And a first hookup with his off throw tight end, Rob Gronkowski. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. They give him a gain of 38. Mm -hmm. And the offense lining up first and 10. Throwing on first down is Brady. And my goodness, another interception. Picked off near the 26. And they will take over at the 26-yard line. Just a little bit of a rough stretch. Six interceptions now in these last two weeks combined. I know the easy thing is to go back to mechanics, footwork, things of that nature. I'm also wondering... Is he getting fooled by what he's seeing on defense? Has the scouting report changed? Are they showing him things different than what he expected? For the second week in a row, he's throwing it to the guys in the wrong color shirts. Yeah, he better figure, whatever the reason is, he better figure it out. Bortles going to look to throw. Steps away to his left. Now he'll throw deep. It's caught inside the 25. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. 
Well, this game is definitely over, but we do know some people like to go ahead and continue to add to their score, don't we? Yeah, I, I don't know that they need to add any more right now, though. I'm just starting to think about those dinner plans tonight, my friend. Well, you and I will be thinking about dinner plans, but we also know they're playing people are thinking, how can I get some more scores for my fantasy, for every other things? They're trying to figure that part out now. By the way, last weekend we went sushi because that's what you wanted. We're going steak tonight. I'm in. All right. Here's Lambeau out to kick this one away. This is taken at the three. And he will be marked down right there at the 20-yard line. Now the Patriots gearing up to go now. They are just obviously getting shellacked here in this one, Charles. What's, what's the message if you're a coach for this final drive in a lopsided game like this? For a lot of coaches, be honest. Don't forget today. <laughs> Don't forget what has happened out here. Yeah, use that as ammo exactly. going Exactly. Took a great look at that scoreboard. Realize how poorly everything went for us today. Coaching, playing, the whole deal. And never forget it because... You're not going to want that feeling no, again. No, you don't want that feeling again. And who knows? You may meet up with this team again. Looking for his all-pro tight end, Rob Gronkowski. And that'll bring up second down. I know for us it's fun. And it's not so much fun for the rookie receivers when we see them coming into the league and we're good training camps. You see them working on getting two feet down instead of one. But the best ones train in college trying to get two down instead of one. So the transition's a little bit less. In this case, though, wasn't able to complete it anyway. If you're a selfish player and you're throwing the ball, you're cool with the completion. Maybe not so cool with the yardage loss, though, huh? Yeah, you went you went backwards on the yardage. Hey, it kind of works like a sack for the defense there. Yeah, it's a really big play for them, right? Able to figure it out, sniff it out, and finish it off. Toward the sideline, it's complete. An athletic grab, but still well short of the first. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays harder to move it. Now Brady got to have this one. And it is incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And boy, possession here turns over with the football already being in the red zone. So they tried to go for it for pride, but it really wouldn't have mattered. This one, it was already determined. No doubt about it. This one was over a while ago. Really nice starting field position here for the offensive unit. going to throw here. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Devin McCourty picks it off. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. And that gives him now three interceptions in the game. Well, someone's locked into what they're trying to get done in the passing game. When was the last time we had someone get three in a, in a contest? 2011, wasn't it? Kurt Coleman? Oh, yeah, that's Then right. with the Eagles? That's right. Then against the, with the Eagles, and I believe it's against Washington and Rex Grossman. That's correct. Now Brady. Complete. Unable to get it to Gronkowski that time. That'll bring up second down. If you're a defender, one of the fun things about playing zone defenses, especially in today's football, is that it's not as static as it was in the good old days, meaning you just drop to a point and react into the football. Now you end up with a lot of man-to-man -man principles once you get into your zone defense. In other words, get to your assignment and then locate a guy coming into your area, and then you end up covering him almost man for man. That allows him to make more plays on the football like the one we just saw there. Throwing is Brady on third down. And now a fumble. Brady loses the football. And did the Jaguars come up with it? They did. The Jaguars getting set to go. As they say, this game hasn't exactly been one for the books. I mean, we're into the fourth quarter here. 
and now this happens, another turnover, not one that they're going to hold up and say, yeah, this has been a banner day. Absolutely. Still sitting on zero. Now after the fumble recovery, it's Bortles. And this one incomplete. So the clock stopped now with 20 seconds remaining. He was looking to get it to Allen Hearns that time. And that'll bring up second down. Now it looks like he'll throw here. And that is incomplete. So 17 seconds now on the clock here. All right, Captain, he's batting down the hatches time defensively. Dodged two pass attempts to the end zone. Now what do you think they're going to try and dial up on third and goal? Well, knowing them and knowing what we've just seen, I think they're throwing it again, don't you? I think you have to. I think in this situation, you kind of run out of your running plays, fire another one into the end zone. This will be caught at about the five. A great job to hold him to just a yard there. Now it's fourth and goal. Whether you're playing West Coast offense or not, one of the maxims of the West Coast offense is you're either throwing a touchdown or a check down. In other words, look for the big shot, but be smart. I think they did exactly that on that play. They didn't get the first down, but they're taking care of the ball well. Yeah, and being rightly cautious with that lead here in the second half. This is caught. And he takes it into the end zone across the chalk. Now there is a flag down, but I think that's offsides on the defense. Yeah, I think that's going to stand, partner. And they're going to go for this thing. They're not going to leave anything to chance. They're going to roll the dice on fourth and goal. Here we go now. now Bortles maybe with a free play. Loose. Of course, the game can't end with a defensive penalty, so they'll get one more crack. So now you get an untimed play, which should be the last one, unless it happens again and there's another defensive penalty. Well, the storyline of this one, Charles, no doubt the number zero. Zilch, nada. A shutout so hard to do in the NFL. It really is. And what an accomplishment because you feel that not just on the defensive side, but as a full team. There's a lot of pride that goes into shutting out an opponent. And how about that zero on the scoreboard for them going along with those zeros in the time column, too? So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. And with that, we say so long from Foxborough.